So our team started with the question of whether it is possible to fly a helicopter at Mars. And so if we started with first demonstrating lift with a one-third scale vehicle here in a chamber of Mars-like atmospheric density, and somebody's outside trying to joystick this to fly. We achieve lift, but not control. <laughs> we learned that the dynamics on Mars uh, in this thin atmosphere is very different. And so next, we built a, a full-scale vehicle with onboard real-time closed-loop control, all the while weighing under 1.8 kilograms. That's four pounds. So what you're seeing on the video here is one of our many, many flights that we uh, experimented with this 1.8 kilogram Mars helicopter. And you see the helicopter flying. It looks very easy when you look at it, but you're looking at a room with atmosphere about 1% compared to the room that you're sitting in right now. The next major milestone will be when Perseverance rover delivers ingenuity to the surface of Mars. You'll see that the debris shield that protects the helicopter on descent is first deployed, and then the helicopter is deployed by what's called the Mars Helicopter Delivery System. It's a very intricate system that's going to take about 10 days to go through these series that you're seeing to drop Ingenuity to the surface. And that drop, the moment that drop happens, is the moment that Ingenuity has to start operating on its own in a standalone fashion. Has to survive the cold, frigid nights of Mars, minus 90 degrees Celsius, keep itself warm. It has to garner energy from the sun through its solar panel to charge its battery. It has to talk to its space station. It has to do all of that in this little four pound. And then we will go for that very important first flight. Rover will stay at least 100 meters away and we'll be watching <laughs> Ingenuity and Ingenuity will take its first flight. The first flight will ascend to about three meters in height and hover for about 20 seconds. And it will be perform the very first ever powered control flight on another planet. And as Thomas mentioned at the beginning of this event, it will be truly a Wright Brothers moment, but on another planet.